Mary Ann Jordan, I'm Vice Director of the Seattle Art Museum. Okay. Well, I've been in Seattle, it's hard to believe, almost 17 years now. I moved from, um, from New York City, which is where I'd had my professional career until moving here, and um, have worked largely in the visual arts um, uh, for cultural institutions. I started at the Metropolitan Museum, and uh, also worked for the New York Public Library, actually, and um, at the Guggenheim Museum before coming uh, to Seattle. The fall of 2008, we talked about the possibility, uh, or they told us about the, that they were working on the L project. It hadn't um, been installed yet, but we talked about a lot of possibilities and, and the desire to collaborate. Um, and on our next trip back to Paris, when we were you know, meeting with our colleagues, um, uh, L was installed, and you know this was a two-year um, a, a project that lasted over two years, where they completely reinstalled their permanent collection gallery with women artists. And at the time, it was really a project for the Pompidou itself and mm -hmm. uh, for the museum, and there wasn't really the intention to travel. Um, but when Shio and I saw the show, we were so um, kind of blown away by it. We thought it was it was really an exciting project. The work was so strong, so powerful and um, interesting. And, and you know, I thought, God, this is the kind of show, this is the kind of work that we felt would really have resonance in this community. So um, we started talking to them about the possibility of um, a traveling version of that show. And I think one of the things that's really important about this show is to realize um, you know, how, you know, when the, 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 these hundred years that are represented in the show is a time of enormous uh, struggle and progress and, and sometimes setbacks for women. And it was, you know, the most important century, you know, in terms of women's rights and women's self-determination. And I think seeing this exhibition really brings that point home in a very eloquent and powerful way. Yeah. We've been incredibly... Um, delighted at the response of both the critics and our audience to the show. People are um, really f uh, moved by it, fascinated. Um, everybody, inevitably, everybody says, I have to come back, yeah. you know, to see it again, because it's so dense, there's so much material. Our docents who tour people through mm -hmm. the show said that they've never had Groups that are more um, that more discussion and debate in the tours themselves. Usually, you know, people kind of go through relatively silently, and how um, engaged and animated our visitors are in seeing yeah. the show. It's, um, so they're loving it too. I think um, you know, it's the um, it's it's definitely been exciting to see how cross generational it is and how yeah. people you know. Um, relate to it. We, um, we hope to continue to collaborate with the Pompidou, of yeah. course, on, on other projects and um, hope that all of these are sort of long-term partnerships and, and certainly um, we would love to continue to work with the Louvre and have um, great relationships with there as well as the Musée Picasso. I, I mean, I get nothing but um, great feedback about it and I've gone to a number of the other programs mm -hmm. which are always really highly attended and people are so enthusiastic about it and so I have a feeling that um, you know, hopefully everybody, including the uh, the council, will want to continue to engage, and I, I would imagine that we would have something like that on a regular basis. I, I think know. that I know that um, you know all of our partners here feel really enthusiastic about it, and we have a great. Uh, and what's been interesting too is just to um, for us to really. Realize, I think it's it's underlined how strong the French community here, is here in Seattle and how mm -hmm. um, active and and um, you know how much initiative that they want that they're taking in this. So it's been <laughs>I love it. I'm coming back a second and a third time. It's all women artists. George O'Keefe. Frida Kahlo. Nan Golden. Hannah Hawk. Dora Maar. It has a tremendous emotional impact. It's very empowering. Provocative. Liberated. Smart. Wonderful. You have to see it. Rock on, ladies. It's a huge privilege and I feel honored to be able to see these works.